Hi guys, today will be the repair of the monitor found in the landfill. When turned on, the backlight lights up. There is no image. Now we will disassemble and repair. On the back of the monitor case, there are these latches. Use a plastic card. This way the case will get less damage. Carefully along the perimeter, we try to bend the latches inside. The main thing is to understand the principle and you will succeed. Remove the back cover more carefully, as the control button's cable runs from it. You can also open the back cover with a flat screwdriver. Disconnect the wires of the backlight frame. Matrix backlight wires. Power LED indicator cable. Control button's cable. Disconnect the matrix cable. You will need to unscrew a few screws. This monitor didn't have them. First, you need to examine the power supply board. I didn't find any defects on this side. On inspection, it turned out that four capacitors were swollen. This is the most common reason. Specifically for the repair of this monitor I bought several packs of necessary capacitors on AliExpress. For such cases they can be useful. I will leave a link to them in the description under this video. First, I'll unsoldering this capacitor. If the landing holes are closed with solder, you can use a toothpick. Hit the solder and insert it into the hole. Now you can install a new item on the board. You must observe the polarity. The negative contact has a white marking on the board and a light stripe on the capacitor. The value of the new element is the same as the original. You can use more voltage and capacity, but not less. Solder and cut off the excess with side cutter. Now replace these two capacitors. Unsolder them. Again make a holes with a toothpick. We install new elements observing the polarity. I decided to test a new soldering iron with temperature control. I really liked it. I will leave a link to it in the description. It remains to replace the last capacitor. New capacitors are smaller than the original ones. I wipe the surface with alcohol from the remains of the flux. Four elements have been replaced and now you can check the health of the monitor. I install the power supply board in place and connect all the wires. I connect the monitor to the laptop. I turn on the monitor. A 
an image appeared on the screen. At this point the repair could be considered complete, but then I noticed a defect in the image. I didn't notice it right away with the screen resolution so low. After connecting the monitor to the main computer, it turned out that there were red ripples on the black tones. It is very small, located horizontally. If you turn on the screen saver with a black background, it will cause interference everywhere. There was also no smooth transition between colors. Although at first glance the picture was good, this can usually be due to poor contact of the matrix cable. You need to pull it out and clean the contacts. I'll do it with alcohol and an old toothbrush. The other end of the cable must also be wiped. If it is difficult to pull it out, you will have to pull out the control module. After cleaning the matrix cable, in most cases the image becomes normal, but not this time. After assembling the monitor, there was the same defect. Upon careful inspection, it turned out that one of the paths of the flat cable was damaged. Make sure that the contact is broken. To do this, I use a multimeter in continuity mode. No contact. The other wires are all right. Carefully remove the insulation with a scalpel. I put a little flux on the contacts, tint and soldered. It is desirable to solder copper wiring there for reliability. It doesn't look very nice, but the task is completed. You need to wash off the flux. Contact appeared. There is no connection with neighboring paths. This is very good. Insert the flat cable into place and fix it. Fasten the power supply board. Connect all cables and check the monitor. The flat cable of the matrix was fixed with heat-resistant adhesive tape just in case. The image is good and clear, there is no red interference. I decided to fix all the wires with aluminum tape. Insert the cable from the control buttons and fix the back cover. This is how the equipment found in the landfill gets a new life. Let this world be cleaner. The screen was very dirty, but now it looks like new. This monitor will take its rightful place on my desktop. The image quality is excellent. There are no defects. The monitor has been working for several days, so I consider the repair successful. I'll show you the screen recording. Let your technique work as long as possible. And if something happens, I hope this video will be useful for you. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.